Aloha. Hey, well, welcome back, and uh, thanks for joining us today at lunch. And uh, we had a great convocation to start off our day. I want to uh, give a shout out to our uh, videographer, uh, Riz. You might want to say, way to go, way to go, Team Riz. Yeah. We can make anybody look good dancing. So uh, as for dancing, I'll be asking each table to nominate the one person who's going to come up and dance here uh, a, a little bit toward the end. I know that Sharon Culpepper has already volunteered. Uh, Maisel has volunteered. Uh, so um, we'll, we'll wait on the on the on the rest of you. Steve Doton has volunteered. Thank you, Steve. So we, we've got a good thing. Uh, just an administrative announcement: If you've lost your glasses, if you just check, I know you might be wearing these really cool glasses, sunglasses, but here's a pair of reading glasses that were found. So uh, I'll have them down here uh, to help you. But really want to uh, thank you for coming out today. On your table, if it hasn't blown off, uh, there are some gold stars. Uh, probably under under the flower arrangement and the opportunity that you have is to give a shout out to one of your colleagues on the campus and we'll put them up on the whiteboards over uh, by uh, by Morrow Cove this, this, the student center so if you would just take uh, take time to think of how to recognize someone for the great work that they do that they've been doing and done uh, be very grateful for, for that uh, the purpose of this lunch is for us to get together commune break bread and also uh, recognize some really super super teammates and so uh, in order to do that i'm going to kick that off and bring uh, robin bates up here she's been running the uh, employee awards program for us so just give a nice hearty kill holler welcome to robin so just fyi i have to hold my dress so that this does. We want to make sure this stays family friendly. So <laughs> thank you very much, President Cropper. Good morning, dear colleagues. Welcome to Cal Maritime's Employee Recognition Program. My name is Robin Bates, and I am the Diversity Officer and Human Capital Manager um, for campus. It's my absolute honor to be here with you all today to kick off our academic year by celebrating amazing staff and faculty who day after day help make Cal Maritime shine. Let's give a round of applause for everyone. Um, and keeping in line with our theme, uh, as the president mentioned, it's the future is bright. <clears throat> and indeed it is. We've made incredible strides over this past year and I really look forward to working together with all of you. Many more accomplishments, many more achievements, so much more for us to do together as the Keel Holler family. Keeping in line with our theme, it seems fitting to start by recognizing our new staff who have joined the Keel Holler family. At this time, I'd like to invite campus leadership to the stage to introduce new staff and faculty in their respective departments starting with Provost Schrader for Academic Affairs. And uh, the staff and faculty, the staff and faculty, when you hear your name called, please stand. Provost Schrader. Hi, everybody. Can you hear me back there? All right, good. All right, well, I want to start by thanking the entire academic affairs team, um, including faculty. So let me start by asking faculty here to stand up. Yay. And all, stay standing. And, and all faculty affairs staff also please stand up. <laughs> Thank you all for your hard work and your, your sense of mission. And then those of you who have been here for a year or less, would you remain standing? I think you had to do this in convocation too. But we welcome you and um, welcome you to our team. So, all right. Um,
I'd like now to turn it to Kathleen McMahon, the Vice President for Cadet Leadership and Development. Good afternoon, everybody. Can you hear me okay? Excellent. So we have a lot of new team members in Cadet Leadership and Development. Louder. We have a lot of new staff, fresh eyes, fresh energy in the Division of Cadet Leadership and Development. So I'm going to ask you all to stand. There are about seven or eight, and they're right around there. So everybody stand up if you're new in the last year. Woo! Spencer just joined our team. Spencer, thank you for joining my division. You are always a team member. Thank you. Uh, so we're really excited and we actually have a few more positions we're filling this fall so keep an eye out uh, but we're really excited about this year to come and next i'm going to turn it over to franz lozano vp of admin and finance hello cal maritime um May I kindly ask the administration and finance team to please just stand up to be recognized for just a moment, please. Everyone in a &F, please. Administration and finance, please. You know, uh, administration and finance is a support organization. Uh, like all the divisions, we uh, do our best in making the um, experience of our cadets here a memorable one. So. Uh, may I just ask uh, those in administration and finance that have just been here one year or less, can you just stand up for just a moment, please? Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thanks, everybody. And I want to introduce uh, my colleague, Vice President Ortega, University of Admins. Uh, thank you, Franz. Uh, advancement staff, we're a small group here, but we're mighty. Please stand up, advancement people. Hey, look at the mighty old ladies. Thank you so much. About the three of them are brand new. We love them. Okay. Now I get to introduce Karen Cornell. Karen. Hi, I'm Karen Cornell, the Chief of Staff, and Richard stole my thunder. Our team is smaller and mightier. Um, I'd like to introduce the Office of the President, Public Affairs and University Affairs. So some of us are sprinkled around. If you could stand up. Chelsea, Aziza, Riz. Tara. Perfect. Uh, and then two of our members, if you've been here for less than a year, if you could stand back up, and that includes me. Perfect. Um, and now I'd like to introduce our Athletic Director, Karen Yoder. Can you hear me in the back? Yeah. All right. Athletics team, please stand. Be recognized. Excellent. If you've been with us for one year until today, and we actually have someone that's, this is their first official day, please stand. Those of you who are still, congratulations. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Next is the corporation, Mark Goodridge. the three big staff in the corporation, Scott Kern, Irene with the bookstore, and Chris Edwards, thank you. And thank you, Sodexo, for the food today, as well as for the cadets in the fall and the spring. Thank you to them. And the facilities group of Sodexo for helping turn the, the halls over and getting us ready for our fall. So thank you. All right, thank you, Mark. Um, at this time in our program, we'd like to take the opportunity to acknowledge staff and faculty who are celebrating important milestones in their service at Cal Maritime. From five to, believe it or not, 35 years on campus. Wow, right? When you hear your name, please stand. So at the five-year mark, we have Paolo Bloss, Christopher Brown, David Clark, Siamara Garcia, 
Beverly Hessler. Samantha Kokomore. Crystal Loera. Assis Malakias. Julia Odom. Timothy Rogers. Emily Sheese. And Joshua Shackman. Thank you. Celebrating 10 years. Bessie Alanis. Woo! Shauna Bilal. Or below. Thomas Cropper. Do we know that guy? Who's that guy? <laughs> Sharon Culpepper. Carla Jennings. Joellen Meislick. Paul Nicolay, Jessica Sotuyo, and Frank Yip. <laughs> Celebrating 15 years, Kathleen Arnold, <laughs> Michael Holden, Samuel Pearson, Edwin Polanco. Cecilia Santos and Scott Whitney. Woo! Celebrating 25 years, Leo Backlick and Scott Green. <laughs> Lastly, celebrating 35 years of service on campus, Patricia Harper. We want to thank each of you for your dedication and commitment and want to express our deepest appreciation to you for lending your skills, your talent, and your brilliance to the Cal Maritime community. We would not be the same without you. Let's give everyone one more round of applause. So um, next I'll introduce myself because it's me again. <laughs> Next on our program, we're actually recognizing um, our employees who have been nominated for Kiel Haller Recognition Awards. The Kiel Haller Recognition Award program is a wonderful opportunity to recognize the outstanding work and performance of employees who consistently motivate, inspire, lead, educate, and succeed individually or as a team. There are four main categories for the Employee Recognition Awards, the first being Mission Achievement Award. The Mission Achievement Award recognizes the outstanding performance of individuals or teams in the following strategic plan areas. Academic excellence, cadet experience, organizational excellence, global reach and impact, and diversity, equity, and inclusion. The second category, Team Impact Award, which recognizes the outstanding collaboration and performance of a cross-functional team that went above and beyond normal service and scope, whose work sustained our mission and led to a better, stronger campus community. The third category, Inspiring Leadership Award, which recognizes the outstanding contributions of an employee who through their work and engagement with others consistently exemplify excellence in leadership embody our core values and inspire the very best in all of us. And the fourth category, the President's Superstar Award, which recognizes an employee who demonstrates a commitment to excellence in their role within the campus community, regularly and consistently demonstrates outstanding service, and truly embodies our shared commitment to cadet success and Cal Maritime's values of caring, learning, integrity, and respect. I'm going to open up our program with our first award in the Mission Achievement Award category for academic excellence. Please welcome to the stage Vice President Provost Schrader. Hello again. Um, the recipient of this award is so deserving and is someone who is admired 
from every corner at, at every corner of campus. Um, he has been a leader in the area of service, a leader in the area of research, a leader in the area of program development. Um, in fact, Alex Parker <laughs> has um, been remarkable in the effort it took to uh, shepherd the oceanography program through its first several years, starting in the in the with its first class in the pandemic and um, attending to all of the advising and um, equipment needs and curriculum needs and shepherding every piece of that program. He's also a tremendous colleague who gives so much to everyone around here. So, Alex, I'd like you to come forward and receive this award. Our next award category under mission would be cadet experience. Please welcome to the stage Vice President McMahon. I am super excited about this award. Again, it's a mission achievement for cadet experience and I am so pleased to award this to, drum roll, Lennon Brotho Jones! Woo! Lennon! Lennon is a tremendous asset to the Cal Maritime community and has consistently demonstrated his professionalism, expertise, and character throughout the past calendar year. He continues to make positive progress with residents' life while responding to the momentary individual concerns of cadets and his RHO team and staff. He's developed deep ties across campus and is regarded as a dependable colleague with an interest in the cadet experience beyond the residential environment. As the nominator said, although he's only been here one year, he's made an immediate impact. He greatly improved the organization and operations and housing, especially with the RHOs. The RHOs who know him and work with him speak highly of him and how he runs the operation and his support for them. I also want to add that Lennon was nominated by Cal Maritime to attend the American Association of Blacks and Higher Ed Leadership and Mentoring Institute at Cal Poly Pomona this summer and represented us well. Please congratulate Lennon. a hand to my uh, trustee uh, assistant here with the uh, certificates, President Crawford, thank you. <laughs> it's a bit windier than we were expecting. Um, in the next uh, mission uh, category, we have um, organizational excellence and diversity, equity, and inclusion, which will be presented by Vice President Franz Lozano. Colleagues, I have the, uh, the honor today to present the Mission Achievement Award for Organization Excellence. This year, there are two deserving individuals for their contributions and commitment to Cal Maritime. Their great work is hidden, but impactful. The first individual provided steady leadership amidst the challenges the campus faced in the past academic year. 
different working relationships and communications with campus leaders are invaluable. She ensures the important critical campus events throughout the year are organized, troubleshooting many of them. She co-leads the CLC and ensures that the campus leaders have the appropriate information and communications needed, working together as a team. Her insights and ability to connect information and people across campus are invaluable. Her contributions are behind the scenes and often goes unnoticed, as I said, but not today. This year's Mission Achievement Award for Organization Excellence goes to Chelsea McLean, Director of University If you don't mind, one more. The next award is equally deserving. During the time of change, this individual led the department where the department experienced a complete change, 99% turnover. Due to retirements, due to professional opportunities and other life circumstances, the, the individuals left. But during these changes, he stepped in and led the department through this change and continued the important work of the accounting department. He went above and beyond to ensure that the, the campus required fiscal, financial, accounting, things, plus he needs to keep me out of jail. It's completed. He is composed, poised, professional, and like Chelsea, his work too goes unnoticed but not today. This year's Mission Achievement Award for Organization Excellence also goes to Frank Vesio, Accounting Manager. I'm really pleased here to step in to offer the Mission Achievement Award for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. And I'm going to do it like Franz did it and make the catcher at the end. So see if you know who this is. <clears throat> this student-centered faculty member has always gone above and beyond to support our students, particularly those from underrepresented backgrounds. Last spring, she partnered with my division, CLD, to open the new Inclusion Center, helping to bring our LGBTQ students into the conversation about what they wanted and needed and helping them enact a vision for their future. The nominator said, as the faculty advisor for the Gay Straight Alliance for 2122, she provided a challenge, who, who had experienced a challenging experience, she helped her students navigate what they were going through. She provided constant support and advocacy for students, especially those experiencing discrimination. She's been involved in the development of the Inclusion Center and will constantly be advocating for DE&I on this campus. She goes above and beyond, often very unrecognized. Please welcome Jennifer Metz, faculty in, LG in Global Studies.
presenting the next award for Global Impact and Outreach, Vice President Ortega. So the recipient of, the recipient of this award uh, is the scientific program manager for the Golden Bear Research Center. That might give it away who it is. But this person had a tremendous year, particularly enhancing the research center's standing with accreditation agencies and, uh, and the work that he does. So he was lead in getting the Golden Bear Research accredit to ISO 17025 standard, which is the international standard for testing laboratories that puts the research center in the lead class of Alice Water Testing Facilities. He also led the development of the Golden Bear Research Center's Bellis Water Commissioning Testing to International Maritime Organizational Requirement by getting the Research Center as approved service supplier for each of the major classification societies. Both of these actions has vaulted the Research Center's international reputation even higher than it was and made it one of only a few testing facilities able to conduct Bellis Water Testing to international stars. Please help me in recognizing Stephen O'Connell. category will be for Team Impact. Please welcome to our stage, Athletics Director, Karen Yoder. Well, I'm not gonna kill the suspense because I really truly wanna identify these individuals. We've talked about them earlier today. They've not only been recognized on our campus, but they've also been recognized across the nation. Your head coaches, representing Cal Maritime's athletic department, contributed to the NAIA's character building program known as Champions of Character. The Champions of Character program is designed to help those influenced by sports to know and value the appropriate choices and decisions that take place inside and outside of a sports setting. The vision of this program is to change the culture of sport and its mission is to focus on providing training to instill the values that build character to encourage students, coaches, and parents to make the right choice on a consistent basis, both during and outside of competition. Thanks to the outstanding efforts of your head coaches, the NEI bestowed the gold standard star status of Cal Maritime for its commitment to this program. Gold star status is the highest level available for any institution and was attained by Cal Maritime, earning a perfect score in the Champions of Character program. Cal Maritime was one of 28 in 2021 and one of 10 to consecutively win a perfect score gold star status. Institutions are measured and demonstrated by their commitment to Champions of Character and earn points in character training conducted in competition, their academic focus, character recognition, character promotion, institutions earn these points based on exceptional student athlete grade point averages and having minimal to no ejections during competition throughout the course of the academic year. I would like to recognize our head coaches. Please come to the stage and be recognized. Congratulations.
category is for inspiring leadership. Please welcome to the stage Director of Facilities Operations, Uber McCrary. Hey y'all. So nine months ago I had the opportunity to return to my alma mater. I had the pleasure of meeting now here's um, I'm gonna give it away right away. Magdalena Lopez for Inspiring Leadership. <laughs> She's one of the few, uh, first few people I met on my actual working day beyond the orientation. Uh, from that point on, Maggie and I had this many discussions of expectations, workflow, operational needs. The conversations weren't limited to just work. I learned that she is a dedicated mother and always wants to do what's right. She takes the same energy into her work home here and does her best to carry out facilities management's vision and expectations. Maggie had her own visions of how to lead the crew to success, creating a supportive and inclusive work environment. The custodial department have been performing as a cohesive unit with re uh, reduced response times and overall better customer service. Developing a team mindset was a priority set by her and as she worked tirelessly to coach and teach the crew. With her determination and proactive approach, the improved efforts produced by the staff have not gone unnoticed. This summer, Maggie took on head on our long list of summer deep cleaning and refresh projects. After the initial conversation with that, she took a deep breath and said, okay, no problem. I, I think we can safely say that this summer, her leadership has provided the campus with one of the best summer cleanups in several years. I'm confident with her continued leadership, the custodial department will continue to improve, thrive, and feel supported, which in turn will ultimately produce better service. We truly appreciate your dedication and hard work. Thank you, Maggie. Yeah. At this time in our program, I'd like to welcome Associate Provost Graham Benton to present Outstanding Faculty Awards. Uh, good afternoon. It is my profound honor and privilege uh, to um, read out the recipients of the Outstanding Faculty Awards. Uh, there's three different awards that we give in the areas of service. Uh, scholarship and teaching, uh, and I'll read them in no particular order. I would like to say that I'm reading these awards out as a representative from the Office of the Provost, who also sponsors these awards, um, but the nominating committee is a bit different, um, that the faculty themselves uh, nominate their peers, and the uh, awards committees are made up uh, of their faculty peers. And so uh, I just wanted to make sure that everyone recognized um, the significance of, of how we determine these recipients. And so I'm gonna begin with the uh, Outstanding Scholar Award. And this is awarded to a faculty member who shall be elected, who has demonstrated outstanding scholarship and research through authorship of books and or journal publications, conference presentations, creative scholarly activities, or innovative pedagogical research. And I think it's a testimony to our faculty and to our institution that this year's recipient is Lauren Hartman.
The next award is the Outstanding Teaching Award. And this is given for a faculty member who shall be uh, selected who has evidence of assessing and achieving learning outcomes, exhibited outstanding teaching methods, received excellent student evaluations, provided exceptional advising and mentoring of students, earned the respect and admiration from colleagues and students, and or assisted students to discover their potential for growth through learning. And again, I'm honored to announce this year's recipient, uh, new to the tenure track, Ali Moradman. And the last award um, for the outstanding faculty is the award in service. And this award is given, um, and the criteria is a faculty member shall be selected who has demonstrated outstanding service to the institution, the CSU, or state as exemplified by service on Cal Maritime's boards, councils, committees, and task force, the academic senate or state academic senate, or on professional organizations and societies. And I can think of no one more deserving than this year's uh, recipient, Dr. Will Sai. Our last award will be presented by someone who needs no introduction. It is our very own President Crumper, who will be presenting our President's Superstar Award. Uh, thank you, Robin. I'm going to get uh, right to the point, and you'll uh, you'll recognize this name. Um, I'm afraid she may not be here. So Rhonda Pate, are you here? Okay, well this is about Rhonda, so let's give her a big, a big hand for Rhonda and we'll tell you, I'll tell you why. Rhonda Pate has been an absolutely invaluable team player for years, but in 21-22, more, more true than ever. And on numerous occasions, she's been instrumental ensuring that faculty and staff contracts were accurate on time and she resolved serious snags that she discovered or others did in HR. So she's enormous support for the deans, the interim deans right now they are transitioning in. She's the point person for new staff who have joined in recent months. She stepped up, she continues to step up, she assists the provost, the associate provost every day in practically everything in the wake of the departure of, uh, of the provost's assistant, but she helps the entire division. So she's responsive for a lot of things. Uh, you know, we have some tight budget considerations. She works to garner savings. She made sure that faculty bonuses came in to play. She's, uh, she's just wonderful. The campus has benefited from her ability to just to be a very strong team player, very quietly, and confidently making things happen across department and division lines and a real partner across every, every part of the campus. So I'm proud to present the, uh, the Superstar Award this year to Rhonda Pate. So thank you, Rhonda Pate. Okay, we're just about ready to, to wrap up the, the, the ceremony, the award ceremony. Really grateful to have the best of the best working for a better year and a better Cal Maritime. You've had a chance today to see your colleagues who are the best of the best. You get to look around the room. If you can remember me asking you to point out the people who had those attributes, they're all around us. Okay. If you look at the campus, 
the physical beauty of the campus. There are a lot of people behind the scenes who make this a beautiful place to come to work. Okay. We're trying to make it more beautiful, not just in the physical, but in the experience of not just cadets, but every employee. So let's get after that. Okay, we've got a, we've got a good start. We're, we've got we've made some headway. Let's keep the momentum going. So thank you very much for your leadership. Every single one of you. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you for your persistence. Thank you for your tenacity. And thank you for being superstars. Have a great year. We'll start it right now. Okay, thank you.